Good evening, um, eligible spatula. For all you single guys, I know you're getting tired of making hot dogs at home and just putting ketchup on. So this is gonna be a basic 101. We're gonna teach you how to make the Coney Island sauce. Follow with me and you'll be able to elevate those hot dogs that you're taking to lunch, you're serving to your friends, and you don't have anything on them but ketchup or mustard. So let's make this a little better. All right. Going to change our camera view here. Okay, we're going to pick back up here. We're going to make Coney Island hot dog chili sauce. It's awesome. So, you ever wondered how they get the granulars of the, the beef the burger so fine and so small? It's not because they chop it up so much. No, no. What it is is we have a cold pan here. We've got the hamburger in it. We've added two cups of cold water. The water is what separates the beef. And then it makes it very fine. They're going to come up and they're going to be just little granulars. And I do this with the spaghetti also. Um, so we've got some ingredients. We're going to supply them at the list at the end of the video. So make sure you like, subscribe, and love my channel. And all you single eligible spatula guys will learn how to cook. Okay, we're going to add one third of ketchup. Okay, next we're going to add a little bit. We're going to come back and add some diced onion. We're going to add our two cloves of garlic. We've already put those in just for the video. Uh, we're going to add our mustard. We're going to add some Worcestershire sauce. Teaspoons of brown sugar. Pack that in. We're going to add um, a little bit of chili powder. Two tablespoons. A little bit of cumin some celery salt and we're going to put a little bit of cayenne in it in the background add a little bit of heat not a lot next we're going to add some salt and pepper to taste that's our salt a little bit of pepper now we're going to go ahead and heat all this together we're going to bring it up on a medium high heat then we're going to bring it to simmer we're going to let it simmer and low heat for about an hour an hour and a half and then we'll show you the results at the end <laughs> 